what's up what's up got a quick video for y'all today um i've had some recent questions on how to do hi-hats or how i do my hi-hats um i recently found out a new way to do it using the mpd and ableton so i'm gonna show you how to do that for me a lot of times the hardest part for me when it comes to a beat is um doing the hi-hats i usually end up either drawing them in or just doing a simple pattern on the drum pad and then drawing them in and you know manipulating them like that and all you're going to need to do this is a drum rack so you go to your instruments you grab a drum rack and you bring it into a MIDI track and then from there you want to find your hi-hat samples so whatever hi-hats you guys like to use you just drag them in here I'll show you all right so I'm gonna just take this hi-hat drag it into the first cell and then drag it into the next cell So now you have the same hi-hat going across each pad and that's going to correlate so if you're using a drum pad it's going to correlate with your drum pad that you can control so the next thing you're going to need to do is um go to midi effects you're going to take this apra arpeggiator and you're just going to drag it into the cell So now when you click on that, you'll see the arpeggiators right there. All right. So the next thing you're going to do to get each cell to perform at a different rate to give you those hi-hat rolls, you're going to change the rate. So for the first one, I usually just leave it at one eighth. And that's just going to be. So whatever your tempo is set to, that's the rate it's going to be. And so you go to your next one and you can make it whatever you want. Um, I usually just go up to 116th. And then so on and so forth. You can make them however fast, however slow you want. If I was to go on my drum pad, which you won't be able to see right now, it makes it a whole lot easier when I'm doing my when I'm doing my hi-hat, so I, I'll give you an example. If I have a sample loaded up. So, Pay attention down here, you'll see exactly where I'm hitting on the pads. You can get the idea how easily you know you can pretty much do that it saved me a lot of time um you know with me being an artist and then also producing my own music the quicker i can make the beat the quicker i can get to start writing the song and finish the song so this helped me out a lot hopefully um it'll help you guys too